Hi, it's Lori. I'm back. I saw the video for Getting to Know You, and I haven't participated yet, so I decided it'd be a good idea to, because to, I love the community. It's one of the things that I've been super excited about is the makeup community and getting back to it, participating, and it's just been so much fun so far, and I really like it. I love music. I participated. I was a band dork. I did... I played the French horn for seven years, from junior high all the way through high school. Didn't pursue it after high school, but it doesn't mean I didn't stop loving music. Um, I was in marching band, <laughs> so I had to wear the goofy uniform. You really didn't wear makeup because there's no point, you're going to sweat it off. You can't really wear lipstick because you're playing an instrument and you know running around a football field. There's no, there's no way you can wear makeup and have it still look good. So I didn't get to wear makeup really in high school, not because I wasn't allowed, but just because it was there's no point because after school I'd have practice and I'd have competitions and it just didn't make sense. The only time I really got to wear makeup was during um, concert season, so it just didn't make sense. But I do love makeup. I love playing with it. Um, I don't have any sisters, so it wasn't like I could put makeup on my little sister growing up, you know, unless I had a slumber party or I was playing with my cousins. I really didn't get a chance to play with makeup. 27. I'm engaged to be married. Um, in March. I got engaged last Christmas, so starting really like Christmas. <laughs> got a really nice present last year, right? My engagement ring. I was born in Houston, Texas, so that's been where I was raised mostly when I went to school. Um, we lived in Singapore for about five years. After I turned three months old, my dad got transferred to work for an oil and gas company in Singapore, and we lived there for four four, four and a half years. My brother was actually born there, so he has the kick-ass birth certificate because he has like a merlion. That's the national, we have the, the bald eagle in Singapore, their national animal is the merlion. So it's like half lion, has like a mermaid tail. And he has that like embossed <laughs> on his birth certificate. So he thinks he's a badass. I used to joke with him all the time when we were learning about presidents. <laughs> it's gonna kill me. Um, we were learning about, you know, who could be president, and one of the things I think was always said was you had to be born on U.S. soil to be a president. And not that he wanted to be a president, but I used to be like, you can never be president because you weren't born here. I'm definitely big on family. I've got a lot of brothers. I have an older half-brother, Ren. Those are the ones, I have videos of his kids, um, my niece and my nephews. He jokes with me because so many pictures of them now, but it's because I have a niece, and that to me just changed everything. I'm kind of sassy, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, <laughs> kind of sassy, um, definitely sarcastic. I can be critical sometimes. Uh, I love to travel. Um, last year for Christmas, my dad and my stepmother got me a hot pink luggage set. It's like this color pink um, and black. It has black zippers. It's awesome. I think it freaking rocks. <laughs> my freshman year in college was in Chicago couldn't stay there. That climate is a bunch of ridiculous. <laughs> Anything where you have cold, wet, and wind at the same time, that's, that's no. <laughs> that's a big no. That's where I met my best friend. I met her my first day in Chicago. She was actually from a farm town in Illinois. And she's, that's my sister. I swear, we, we, are, we are sisters. I'm a maid of honor, of course. We've been friends for It'll be 10 years next year that we've been friends. We got on trips together. We went to California last year, and I freaking loved it. The beaches. I mean, how could you not live there? Seriously. Um, we had such a great time. Just, she's a great person. She's makes me. She's another one of those people that makes me want to be a better person. Yeah, I love her. Love her. She's definitely one of my favorite people. I'm now a certified nurse's aide, but I haven't worked as one like officially. People have helped me in my past. You know, growing up in Texas, I've never had to change my tire if my tire has ever been flat on the road. <laughs> you know, driving home, I've had blowouts on the freeway and I've pulled over and I've called my boyfriend, whoever it was I was dating at the time. And before that person could get to me, a gentleman would have stopped, changed my tire, and I could be on my way within 20 minutes. I don't think that has anything to do with looks. <laughs> I think that has to do with where I live. That's just, that's how we roll in Texas. <laughs> that's how people are. And that was one of the hardest things to adjust to when I moved to Chicago. I was used to men opening doors, good mornings, you know, gratitudes. 
I wasn't used to to uh, peop a culture that was so cold. You know, I'm used. I was used to the warmth of the South. I love the beach. I love tanning on the beach. I <laughs> me and California cosmetics are talking about this. That's why it's kind of funny about the whole tanning thing. Because I don't go to a tanning bed. That's the sun I get on my face. That's the sun from laying on a beach on vacation. I think I'm very lucky that I live close to so many of those beaches. My favorite town to visit in Texas is actually Austin. Plenty of bars, plenty of places to get in trouble, but just a real relaxed, laid-back town. And a lot of the hill country is beautiful. It definitely reminded me of California. Driving through California, driving through Austin, I get the same kind of feeling. I guess I also want to say things I'm afraid of, because the longest time I was afraid of letting someone in, letting someone loved me, I had a guard up. So my fiance is the kind of person where he just kind of busts in. And he's, like I said, he's patient. He waits for me. He he does all of those nice things for me. The flowers, the cards, the mushies. <laughs> That's who he is. And it's really great. It's really quite, quite special. Another thing I've always been afraid of, losing my mother. That's one of the things I have always <laughs> been afraid of. And I know even if I do lose her, she'll always be with me, but I'm just not ready for it. Not. Not ready for it. And I see her with her mother, and I feel like it's the same kind of deal. I feel like she's not ready. My grandmother's not even, like, super old or anything, but I don't think my mom's ready for that. I love, you know, mommy and me days when we just, you know, go shopping, get our nails done, talk, eat together, you know, share a meal, and I just have all of my mommy attention. She has three sisters, and I'm the only daughter. So I think she said <laughs> that she wanted me to not have to share anything. But I've had to share her with my brothers. <laughs> so it's not like I didn't have to share her, but I didn't have to share any of my things. All of my things were always mine. I didn't have to worry about someone taking my stuff. It's not like my brother's going to steal my underwear or, <laughs> or my dresses <laughs> or my makeup. So I never had to worry about that. She did. Definitely a family girl. Definitely. Oh, I like to cook. Cook, I go all out. Usually it's, you know, over the top. My specialties are spinach enchiladas. But I love to cook. My fiance jokes all the time, I'm gonna be cooking for him every day. He's out of his mind with that. <laughs> Especially if I'm a nurse working 12 hour days, you can forget it. <laughs> You'll be on your own. I'm a silly person, obviously. I definitely like to laugh. I like to have fun. I'm definitely adventurous. I've been skydiving. Did that when I was, I think, 21. I think I had just turned 21 when I did that, and that was awesome. Did that with my brother actually, so that's kind of why it was even more special. The funny story about that is, you know, I'm in Texas, I'm a girl, so I have a certain level of expectation, you know, when it comes to guys and what their responsibilities are, you know. Are. And so we're on the plane and we're sitting, you know, you're, 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 it's like you're, you just have a bench that you're sitting on when you do this and you're facing somebody, you know, a whole line of people, like a bench, you know, two benches facing each other. And this is a bunch of my brother's work friends, so it wasn't like it was people I didn't know. I knew my brother's work friends. There's a guy sitting across from me that my brother worked with my brother, and he looked at me and he was like, he didn't want to go last, so he wanted me to go last. <laughs> because obviously we were going to be the last ones because we were the first ones on the plane. And they were, you know, dumping out from the back. And I'm looking at him like, are you serious? You're going to make me go last? I, I was shocked. <laughs> but I had to go last, and I went last. And so I keep watching, you know, these people just blink, 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 jumping off the plane, and I'm freaking out. And I, and I, to this day, I will tell you that I did not jump <laughs> willingly. I was pushed because the first time you jump, you skydive, you're attached to somebody else, you know, complete stranger. It's fun. It was definitely the experience of a lifetime. Free fall is something that you really can't describe. It's just you're flying. You are flying. Superman for a minute. <laughs> I think that's a, I think that's all I'm gonna share today. That was a lot. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got to know a little bit about me. Just I love the community. But we wouldn't have met each other otherwise. So life is a journey. It takes you anywhere. And you never know where you're gonna go, where you're gonna end up. <laughs>